When Toronto relationship coach Roman Mirnov's marriage ended seven years ago, he says he was devastated. He fell into a mild depression. I felt like that was the end of my life. For, for the first couple of weeks, I felt terrible and I just didn't know what to do. Researchers from the University of British Columbia have found when relationships break down, men are at an increased risk of anxiety, depression, and even suicide compared to women. Of 47 Canadian and Australian participants, 96% shared those feelings and accounts. John Olive, a professor of nursing and lead author on the study, says the risk of male suicide quadruples after a marital separation. If we think about suicide prevention uh, and knowing that men suicide three to four times the rate of women, I, I think it's such uh, a given that the relationship breakdowns do put men at risk. The COVID-19 pandemic is only making the situation worse for many men. The study found they are turning to substance use, drinking to cope, and because of social restrictions, they are losing close ties with friends. Ottawa psychotherapist Sean Hale offers sessions online and says he's seeing the same thing in his practice. After a breakup, if you're feeling these emotions and you can't get them out, uh, they can lead into those kind of feelings of depression because you're kind of dealing with it on your own. Olaf says there needs to be more mental health care options geared to men. He hopes to see people reach out before a breakup, gaining valuable communication and coping skills. Strategies for working through those things and, and splitting amicably and then working their way through through those, uh, those challenging situations. Miranov agrees. The 39-year-old now has a new partner and uses his experience to help others. Don't go into that vicious cycle. Break out of it by reaching out to someone. A decision experts say could be life-saving. Jamie Marocker, Global News, Toronto.